Hey, what's up you guys? It's Brooke, and welcome back to my channel. So I've been at my A, and you're probably wondering why, or you're not. But if you are, then keep watching. So as you guys read by the title of today's video, I was cast in my first lead role. <gasps> in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I got the role, all about the short film, and then share some behind the scenes footage with you. So we're gonna hop right in. But of course, before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can be notified next time I post a video. And also make sure you guys follow me on social media as you'll see a lot of behind the scenes content on there. I've actually posted some photos from the film shoot, so go check those out, give those a like, and let's hop into this video. So I've been acting for a few years now. I actually acted when I was younger, but I decided to pursue it as part of my career path during college. I'm a singer-songwriter. I love writing music. I love telling stories. I love sharing my stories, and I always have done that through singing songwriting, and I discovered in college that acting was another way to do that and something I was really passionate about. So since I started pursuing my career in acting, I've had quite a few exciting roles and projects that I've worked on which are also awesome and I've shared quite a few videos on my YouTube video of behind the scenes on those. But this was the first time I've ever been cast in a lead role which was such a privilege and felt just like a dream come true or a dream coming true. So basically I've been auditioning for a few films, TV shows, etc. And I found this audition for a short film that was going to be produced by a student at Pace University. So I submitted my audition and it's actually funny because when I submitted my audition, I was so tired this day. I had so much stuff to do. I had a couple auditions to submit and I didn't particularly love this audition. I kind of was like, it's okay, it's kind of just good enough. I'm not gonna keep beating it over the head, you know. I'm such a perfectionist that I used to record my auditions and take hours to film them. And I learned from a casting director that you should probably only take about 30 minutes to film your audition max and then just stop there because when you're really in the audition room, you don't have the opportunity to take hours to spend on the perfect take. You have a short period of time to get it done in. So I've been trying to practice this and was watching the footage back and was like, you know what, this looks fine, I'm not gonna get overwhelmed by it, I'm just gonna send it in. And worst comes to worst, they say no and choose someone else and I move on and that's my one step closer to a yes. But about a week later I actually found out that they wanted to cast me in the lead role. They actually reached out to me, asked what my availability was to see if I would be able to come in and I was kind of sitting here biting my nails because I was like this is crazy, I could have a lead role but I don't want to get too excited yet because what if my availability doesn't match up with theirs and then they choose someone else. So I had to wait a couple more days to find out that I actually was cast as the lead role in this short film. It is a horror film which was something that is so exciting to me because me and my twin sister's favorite genre of movies is horror and anything that has to do with true crime and that sort of stuff. So getting to actually be a part of a film that was in that genre was so exciting. And and yeah, the shoot days were pretty long. I had to travel about an hour from my home and wouldn't get back till two in the morning, but it was so much fun. When you're doing something that you love and you're passionate about, work doesn't feel like work. It just feels like a fun time hanging out with really fun people, all of the crew on that film set were so sweet, so generous, and had me cracking up. Like, they're hilarious people and friends that I've now made for life. And I'm so excited to see where their careers go after graduating school. And yeah, so I don't know how much I can really say about it other than that it is a short horror film and that I'm the lead role. I guess I can say my character's name is Darcy, but I think that's all I'm gonna say about it for now. It should be coming out in just a couple weeks. I'd say by the end of May, the latest. So definitely follow me on my social media accounts to check out when that comes out as I will definitely be sharing it and I might even film a YouTube video premiering it or something. Let me know if you guys would wanna see something like that, like my first reaction to watching it or something. If you guys want more acting tips on how to get auditions and how to book your first lead role, leave a comment and a like down below and I'll make sure to share some of that 
content with you, but now we are going to get into some behind the scenes footage. shoot I am exhausted I got up super early this morning because I thought I was gonna hit traffic getting to the shoot location and I didn't hit any traffic whatsoever so I got here like two hours early two and a half hours early so I'm pretty tired but I am so excited to shoot today's scenes I get to have some costume changes which is really fun because the first two days I was in the same costume so yeah I'm gonna take you guys along with me If you guys like this video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and also make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week. And of course, follow me on social media so you guys can keep up with all the projects that I'm working on and check out some behind the scenes footage. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.